Outlaws DPS and one of the sharpest casters in the Overwatch League, Jake Lyon. Thanks for giving me some of your time today, Jake. Yeah, glad to be here. Now, they say once an outlaw, always an outlaw, but that's never been more true than with you, Jake. So let's cut right to the chase. You're rejoining the guys in green for the 2021 season, and let me be the first to welcome you back home and ask, what exactly does this mean for you? Uh, for me personally, I think what this means is that, um, you know, for me, 2020 was about um, resting and resetting. I, I know I for sure needed the break. Like, I wasn't ready to compete last season. But in this last year, I feel like I've changed so many aspects of my life. And I'm in a position now where mentally, emotionally, I actually really miss competition. And I feel like having, you know, fixed a lot of other things in my life, now I really have the bandwidth for it. And, and I really relish the opportunity to get back into it uh, and be part of that team environment. So this isn't you just coming back in some sort of, uh, um, you know, management sort of role. You're going to be back on the field of play. We're going to see the Jake Rat again. Well, I, you know, no promises. I'm not coming back as like the star player or, you know, trying to like always get starting time. I think part of it for me personally is sort of this change in how I look at the game. Um, I'm excited to, you know, I think what, what's interesting about my role now is it's a dual role. Uh, I'm going to be on the roster and, you know, if it makes sense, if there's um, the strategy that the team needs me for, of course, I'd be more than happy to play. Uh, I've kept up my skills over the past year. And, and I think personally, honestly, I think I've improved, but um more than that, when I'm on the bench, I'm not going to be passive or uh, in this mindset of, oh, I know I have to get starting time. I'm actually going to be working as a player development coach. So um, what that means to me is that I'm going to be helping to make the team as strong as it can be, whether I'm on the field of play or not. And I think this is actually a great role where, um, you know, if, if needed, I can play. But when that doesn't make sense, when the, when the roster is stronger with other players in the DPS slot, then I'm more than happy to coach the team, to help offer my strategic insight on the game uh, and help players improve on an individual level. So you had mentioned sort of this year off, you know, obviously with the Overwatch League, uh, being a caster on the desk was was kind of to help you reset as well. But, you know, was there any other strengths that you think that you picked up casting next to ZP while you were uh, working from the desk? Um, I don't know that it really changed anything from a competitive perspective as far as like how I'm going to approach the game. I think it really is more about uh, the stuff behind the scenes that honestly the fans don't get to see uh, about me unless you're, you know, closely following my social media or something. Um, but I've really changed a lot of aspects of my life, such as um, my eating and, and fitness habits, um, and re really for the better. And I think those changes are, are really going to show through. I think at the end of the 2019 season, I was just burnt out. I just you know, didn't have that will to compete anymore. And I didn't feel like I could be the player that the team needed. I felt like I was just, you know, at the end of my rope. But honestly, through all these big changes I've adopted over the course of the last year, I think that if I can maintain those uh, healthy habits and lifestyles, then I feel ready to compete again. Uh, and I feel that it, it won't be too much for me anymore. So, I mean, the faces of the Houston Outlaws uh, do look a little bit different from the last time that you left, but there's still a few familiar ones mixed in there as well. What is it that you're most excited about uh, joining back up the Outlaws? Well, obviously the team is like really different now than it was before, uh, but ultimately that's a change that made me want to come back. I think um, there was just, there, the, the team needed a lot of change, frankly, um, from when I was last on the Outlaws. And, and I think um, if that change hadn't come, I, I don't know that I would be coming back truly, but the opportunity to work with Matt in particular on GM, uh, to, you know, to play with Dante again, who uh, is a personal friend as well, somebody I believe has incredible potential, um, that, to me as the reason a huge part of the reason i came back and then you know all these new faces coming to the roster i think there have been some really intelligent pickups in the offseason the team looks really dangerous really ready to go and, and to become something uh that the fans deserve here in this next season well speaking of the fans what is it that you think that they can come to expect from the 2021 outlaws uh well who knows i mean i know we're for sure going to be giving it our best uh i'm just looking forward to, to getting to work and uh you know delivering the best possible results competitively um our, our goal is, you know, nothing short of winning, right? Um, but I think I think the reality is my personal goal is just to do better than ever before um, and hopefully by a good margin. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Jake. We're looking forward to a successful year for both you and the Houston Outlaws. Thanks, Robbie.